Mark. I'm all literally. Right, all right, all right. Where is yours ahead? Look. All right. Look. We are right now. Welcome back to Late Nights with All Access, episode number 60. 60? 60. Oh, shit. What the and fuck? we appreciate everyone uh, tuning in uh, right now. Again, if you're watching us, please like, comment, weird. and share the video. And tag all your friends. Let's have some <laughs> fun with this. Right next to me, Miss Nat Boogie. What's up, guys? Miss Nat Boogie. Hi. Right across from me, Mel Finest. Yo, what up, man? With the blessed gear, Mel Finest. Yes, sir. And our returning guest, Jose Hoffman. Thank you, sir, for being back over yes. here. Thanks for having me. Thank Appreciate you. that. You know, it seems like this coronavirus is just like the talk of the town. Everyone just keeps on talking about it you know it's like the, the only thing that you can talk about <laughs> you know right you can't share anything about sports you can't share anything about entertainment or anything really yeah but I, but i do know this is that what we can do is dedicate uh some of the show towards our local community with the uh, restaurants that are still open and the bars that are trying to be out there and that's one of the reasons why we asked you to come back on the show because we saw what you were doing, you know, with the car wash, with the 500 enchilada plates that you're giving out tomorrow. What sparked your interest in doing something like that? Well, I tell you what, you just got to be a little creative, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, it's we're, we're, we're going through a very difficult time. So I was like, well, how, how can I uh, draw people's attention? You know what I mean? Uh, ain't no one out. Everyone at home just chilling. So it's like, you know, people do have to eat. But also they, they have to remember, hey, are you open? Are you not? What are you doing? So right. that's why I came out with the car wash. I was like, you know what? You spend $25 purchase, get your food. And while you're on curbside, get your car wash. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a no-brainer. It's, it's a deal that you just can't pass on. So you get yeah, a nice clean car. And you get good food. Hell yeah. I need that right now, too, because I got this, whatever the allergy shit is, the pollen, pollen from my pollen, tree, the yeah. trees, that shit's all over my and then car. Cute. And then the margaritas, you just can't beat it. $4 for the small one. Yeah. The small one is a 16 ounce. 16 ounce joint. That's yeah, not bad at all. The large one is a 32 ounce. If, you know what I mean? If you really want to go, really big, go you big, you know what I mean? You know 32 what ounce, that's all you need, a 32 ounce. $8. $8 gets you right. Not bad at all. Go big or go home. So then it's like, you know... I, I'm very uh, appreciative. You know, all my customers, like, they've backed me up. Yep. In this very, very difficult time, like, you know, I thought I was going to lose myself. I was like, what am I going to do? All right. So um, a couple nights ago, I was like, you know, I got to do something for, for the community. Um, even though I've been involved and I've done, like, little things here and there, but I think it's, it's always best to put it out there. That way they know that, you know, you're giving back. True. So I decided to, you know, um, let's prepare 500 plates. Damn, 500, man. That's 500 right. plates from 11 to 1. And uh, you just come in in person and get your food. There you go. And I hope to do this very often. Uh, you know, this is my first one as far as doing a function like that. Right. Let me see how it comes and tweak it up a little bit if I need to. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm just trying to have some fun. You know, it, it, this coronavirus, it could be very negative, but you got to see it in a positive way. Mm -hmm. And it's an open opportunity for the person that wants to take advantage of it. And how I see things is like, while you sleeping, I'm going to I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to I'm yeah, going to grind. I'm going to put something together. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> hey, just don't don't sit on the couch. Go get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if we you did talk about that earlier. We be about thinking about your next moves, you know. I think you said it. You said it right. I think uh, a lot of people need to take some positivity out of this virus, not to take away from the seriousness of what it is causing out there. Because I shared something on my personal page about stats. You know that we have the news, the media, and maybe y'all agree, maybe y'all don't don't agree, which is fine. It's perfectly fine. Everyone has their own opinions, but. I shared something regarding the case that they, they uh, posted the stats of who's been infected in different zip code areas mm -hmm. and who's, you know, had, how many deaths there have been, but they don't share the recovery. 
you know, and Shit. the recovery is more than the deaths, the deaths. And I'm not saying that those are not taken serious. People that have lost a loved one, that you just forget about that. But you have to give some people some type of hope, you know, and saying, hey, don't feed into the fear too much because people panic when they start seeing things and stuff. So my thing is to just try to bring some light into this dark area that is uncertain right now because there's a lot of uncertainties that we're going through because we don't know what to really believe or take. So what, what are your thoughts? Like with, with the, like when you look at the stats or you really don't pay too much attention to it or has it hit you home? Because at um, first when, when <clears throat> this whole thing came, I didn't know somebody that knew somebody that knew somebody mm. about the coronavirus. But now I kind of know somebody that it's been affected to, you know? Yeah. No, I, the same as you said, I was, I think we had this conversation um, not too long ago, but how they're only showing all the deaths and our, everything like that. Like basically we just said, they're just showing the deaths and not showing the recovery rate, how many people are recovering from this. And so they are instilling that fear in everybody. But um, I, we just talked about it. I just got a notification today that someone actually at my job now at Nationwide San Antonio campus actually just tested positive for it. So it's starting to get closer to home. Um, I know there's a couple DJs in the city, I think that, that have it now. And, and I think it's gonna get worse in the next few weeks, there's going to be, start being a lot more people we know. I mean, one of my good friends right now is waiting on his on his test to see if he's positive. I saw or that, negative. Jacob. Yeah. yeah, so luckily he's been doing good. I've, I've been talking to him all weekend and stuff like that, but um, I think it's just going to start hitting closer to home as this thing progresses, and, you know, part of it is the fact that they don't even, they're not even letting everyone get tested. Like, we only know based off of the tests that have only been done, but they're not even letting everyone get tested, so there could be so many more cases out there that we're not even aware and we're still you know everyone's still out there being all social everyone's still at the park or they were at the park i guess they're closed now but yesterday people were at the park like no yeah like they, lit, they, like they partying, are partying like ne- like there is nothing going on and it's like it's it's just gonna get worse friday afternoon i was taking a drive on a Warsbach area and blanco and there's a park right there and when i was driving in that area that whole park was filled mm-hmm. and i was surprised i was just like that's See, I, I, again, I'm kind of like on both sides because there's such a great area that we're living in right now. My whole thought process, and you've heard me say this and I've shared this plenty of times, it's either all or nothing to me. It's like either 100% shut down everything so that we're all on the same page or let people go out there and you just be smart for yourself and say, hey, you know what? I'm sick. Let me stay. Or you start getting symptoms, you know. You, and that's the know. thing is not everyone's going to have symptoms from this thing. I know. Not everyone's going to have symptoms, but you not, can not still yet. spread it. Yeah. You can still spread it even if you don't have symptoms. So you can come into contact with somebody who may get the symptoms and it may actually affect really, really bad. So I think that's the, the mess up part is, you know, you aren't getting tested if you don't have the symptoms. So it's like, mm-hmm. what's really to stop this from... You know, it's, it's gonna get worse. That's all I can say. It's gonna get worse. I know. And what is it now? It got extended, right? Thirty or to the thirtieth? April thirtieth. Well, April that was 30th. Trump's guidelines, I guess. I so you have to wait for the mayor and the governor and all that stuff to to make their <laughs> thing. But I mean, they did officially close the park. So I yeah. think you know it's progressing. More and more stuff is gonna be shut down as this goes. But guys, the grocery stores will still be open. Please stop hoarding. Thank you. Hey, shout out to H E B. Yes. Again, H E B is doing a ph- phenomenal. Like, if you haven't had a chance, just think H-E-B. Like, I, I find it funny when people are like, H-E-B doesn't have this, doesn't have that. Like, yes, they do. Just be patient. I agree. Yeah. H-E-B is doing their thing, man. Mm-hmm. Like, honestly. You know, we've had a couple of um, caterings, you know, taking them tacos and stuff like that. So That's awesome. I love you that. Know, um, that's awesome. They're supporting me, and they're supporting the whole community. Yeah. You know, uh, restocking and everything. The only thing I don't like is just like, you know, sometimes you have that long, long line outside, so it defeats the purpose, no? Yeah. As far as the social uh, distancing. No, they're, 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 they have the six. Do they? The line they didn't, because I stood in line right behind people. You have a point there. Because in the line, line that I was in, they didn't have the footsteps. Oh. It was until you got to the front of the store where they had it, where you had mm. to keep the space and then like get the cash register and stuff like that. Okay. But, um, yeah. You do have a point there, but... I don't know. I mean, I, shout out to them. I commend them. And then you and shout out to Adrian with Smoke. I know I've been seeing a whole bunch of, you know, let's go out here and feed them. The, you know, all the, everyone in the medical field, all that good stuff. So shout out to everyone. Yeah, shout out dope. to everyone. 
Yeah, you know what? A quick shout out to Adrian Martinez, uh, sponsored uh, uh, the show, a barbecue, uh, smoke barbecue restaurant. They're going out giving delivering uh, different uh, foods to the community, uh, the front line. Uh, I've seen you now doing it too as well for tomorrow uh, with the community. Uh, shout out to uh, BB and the whole team at A Lounge and Donner Doffels. Uh, they did something incredible by, I believe, what was it, 200? Or 100 or 200 or two, 200 right yeah, or downtown 100 or 200 or something like that uh bb if you're watching or anyone from uh donna doffels they were doing something about uh, giving out free meals uh, to the hospitals or something like that right yeah. um yeah there's a lot of local there's a lot of local uh places that are doing stuff uh shout out to uh, john vale with the animal biscuit company he texted me and let me see they're doing a 15 percent off uh for takeout meals for the uh, fire department and SAPD, and then also free coffee for them too. So that's awesome. Donna Dolphos is doing 100 meals to go per day. Um, will be provided for two weeks starting March 26th through April 9th, Monday through Friday, 12 to 3 p.m. See for pickup. So that's dope. That is. I, I think right now, when it's kind of a smart thing for restaurants to do that, just because of the fact that it shows that you're giving back and you support the community. You know. And in return, you get those people to eat your food, and then they're going to write uh, really great reviews. And, I mean, it's good intentions, you know? It, I believe it's good intentions. Okay. And it's, it's good just to keep the whole positivity out there and giving people some type of hope. And, you know, they're working hard out there. You know, the nurses, the hospitals, the doctors, the SAPD, fire department, everyone. You know, they're all out there. I think the whole city is, like, doing their own thing like as far as like coming in unity to support each other and and that's what we needed you know um alan is saying a shout out pollos asados los norteños like they're down the street and mm -hmm. man i love them you know what i mean a lot of people ask me and they're like hey your competition and this and that it's like it's crazy because businesses should like support one and one and mm -hmm. another yeah. you know when it comes to restaurants like, there's no competition. Like, support one another. You know what I mean? And shout out to Big Lou's down the street. Shout out to uh, Mars, uh, Barbecue uh, Live. Chris. Like, you know, you got to support one and, and support everyone. Yeah. And I tell you what, it's just, it's, it's beautiful to uh, just come and work as a team, you know, and like throw it out there. Hey, we got this going on. We got that going on. Like one business should support the other business. That business should support should support the other business. You know, especially right now at this time. You know, spread the word out. I think anything that that's gonna continue to bring people hope. Uh, that's what we need to do. I think it's uh, something that the community does need um, because of the fact that a lot of people just have fear and panic. You know, but if they see restaurants giving back and see some type of positive positive thing movement going on then it continues so what about you melvin you still doing your thing with the blessed gear and all yeah, that yeah man you know got the best, best some, uh, stuff. Antonio, yeah. you know what I'm in <laughs> texas gear, you know, bro texas, come on man, that shit's all over the place crazy right now you know but with that being said i like the, i like all the good stuff we're able to see from this i got we got djs battling each other we got producers battling each other we got free concerts backstreet boys be doing a, you know a living room concert we got that going oh, on really oh yeah this is he's about to do something crazy like i'm getting a lot of free entertainment off of it. i got battle rappers about to battle on ig so it's, i like it i like it man especially a uh, big shout out to esme and dj mystic they're putting on a crazy show like every other day with their stuff with the cash app and prizes it's again i like it man it's a lot of i good do stuff. like seeing the djs go uh live I yeah do. man that's good i think uh, it was so crazy because when i first saw the djs go live i was just watching right and i then started seeing certain djs kind of making fun of those djs mm -hmm. and then i was just like why i was like why make fun like, why not just be supportive and, and they're still doing something to keep them active yeah. so then that's how the whole thing got inspired by doing the live dj battle and first it was just going to be four hundred dollars and then it got into six hundred dollars and it got to seven hundred dollars now today 
up to date, it's a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. That was crazy. an awesome. That was an awesome mm-hmm. event you're, you're doing. A thousand dollars, and it's a tournament. And the thing is too, and I, I want to share this. We have sixteen DJs. Mm-hmm. So if you think of the uh, tournament uh, brackets, you had eight over here, eight over here. Now that it's up to a thousand dollars, I want sixteen more to really do like the final four. Yeah, you know, sixteen more. So, so because you gotta think about it, we have the whole entire month of April. So oh. if there's DJs that want to join, just because the first round already went by doesn't mean they can't be another first round. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if like there's that. sixteen more DJs that are willing to participate right. then i'll go ahead and extend that round because next weekend is going to be round number two it could be round number one for them it doesn't matter right. because we have a whole month of, of april <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, so, so the money is going to keep on going so up the money is going to continue to go up too. i see what he's doing i, I have that. other people i can't name them yet that are willing to put in more money so that grand prize is going to continue to go up so you think about it you have already Two sets of DJs that competed, which by all means, thank you. It was so amazing to watch everyone go live and seeing the love from their own fans and friends. You know, it was just cool to see it. And it's smart. I liked it that, you know, a lot of uh, families that were at the actual household participated with the DJ and everything like yeah. that. They had the little night lights going, had the yes. fall going on. You know, they were, their biggest supporters were in the house cheering them on. I like that it was a dope thing, and then, uh, shout out to DJ Ant. You know, he would say like he was if he won his winnings, he was gonna give it to the Hills and Dales back home yeah. social. He was gonna give his winnings to the people. Me and him chopped it up. He's straight, you know, but he wanted to give his winnings show back, show love to the people like that. So we had a good conversation. With so that. I like how you brought that up because I didn't know who he was. There's a lot of DJs that are that are in it that I didn't know who they were. There's a lot of female DJs. I, I, I never a heard female. Of fire. Shout out to DJ Little B. She's good. There's a lot of well, she's I, good. I, Brittany, uh, Brittany's her name. So yeah. if Brittany's like she's really uh, good. Big shout out to Norman. Norman uh, has a list of all the DJs that are doing all this right now, and he has something in the works as far as that Wild West that he's gonna do to help support them. All the DJs that are doing their thing on live, uh, Norman's definitely taking notes. And yeah, doing, Norman is because Norman yeah. was asking me. He's like, dude, he's like, I've never heard of these DJs. Yeah. And again, it's crazy stuff. because this is a great this is a great platform or opportunity for those DJs to make a name for themselves right now to go live. Because people are going to start seeing them. That's all I saw people talking about this weekend on Facebook. And I also didn't know I had so many DJs on my Facebook <laughs> until this past weekend. I was like, people I never even knew were DJing this whole time with live and stuff. So so it just continues to grow. And, and I like it. I like to see the music. I like to hear the different types of... And, and to correct everyone, it's not the most views contest. Just to let that just out there. That was the first round. Yeah, the first round. <laughs> that was the first round. Because like, a lot of people like, oh... You only do the most views. And at first, I'll be straight up. I was thinking just the most views. Yeah. But then when I started getting more people putting in more money, I was like, well, we got to do a little bit more than that. Yep. It can't just be based on um, just the views. So the vision of this is now going into really some more depth into details on the shares, the comments, the uh, your your followers actually scoring you. So now you're getting all the people tuning in to say it's DJ Richie Rich and DJ uh, Ant. And now everyone has to give them some type of score, Uh you know? And it's a lot of work too, believe me. Because when I'm watching there, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Uh, Like, it was a lot of work. I got tagged in a lot of videos. So then I I have private group pages with them, mm-hmm. which each uh, uh, DJ group, the groups that are going against each other. And so I told them, I, like, I go live with them, tell them exactly what to do. Cause I learned a lot from the first one. The first one, some DJs were going, doing the watch party. And when they did the watch party, it only allowed just certain people to watch well, because yeah. it wasn't live. Yeah. Then certain DJs didn't have it public, right. their settings. So it only limited them so that they couldn't get shared. So and then- so like, yeah, we made sure like everyone understood what to do but the goal here is now that we have the first round i want another eight or 18 or 16 more djs to join so that there'd be more people 
uh-huh. and the money could continuously grow. Now that the DJs learn what they made mistake, are you gonna let them re-enter for the next one? Uh-huh. The ones that didn't have a fair shot, as far as not knowing the well, watch party I mean, thing and the public thing. The thing, thing? is that because they might have such stuff set up like that the whole time, they never knew. And that's the thing. Like we, I had a group, mm-hmm. private group chat with them, and most of them understood. They're like, you know what? Yeah. In all fairness, they're like, we understand. So. Cool. Well, that's good. So, but that's a good question because it's yeah, gonna be it's gonna be asked because I, I was I was wanting to redo it. To yeah, be honest with you, I sense. wanted to redo it, but then it was unfair to the DJs that actually one prepared for it. Yes, right, right, right. So it was just like you can't, you can't please. Well, it, ain't, it ain't gonna be your first event, so maybe yeah. you do it sure. again. You know, for the next one, hey, sure. you can't be perfect. So yeah, not only that, but the key thing to winning all this stuff is to share them in different groups. Man, there's like so many Facebook groups and all this stuff. All you gotta do is just share that stuff in 30 groups that I'm already in. I'm in like 50 groups. I share this show in all 50 groups, and that's how we get all these crazy views. Share, 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 share. Like we said at the sharing. beginning, I, I do a lot of sharing. My Facebook is freaking crazy right now. I'm getting tagged in every DJ that battle uh, goes live. I'm get, I'm sharing all Hoffman stuff. I'm sharing everybody's stuff, just trying to help everybody out, get money and stuff like that. And you're showing the love, bro. Yeah, like, you're showing the love, that's bro. That's how it should be. Like, yeah, yeah, bro. No, you know, no. That's all, that's hey, talking about showing love, let me uh, give a shout out to uh, Mariscos, Don Charlie. It's off of uh, WW Right Road. It's mm-hmm. not that far from Barbecue Life. Mm-mm. Man, their their seafood is on point. Oh, fire! Yep, fire. That seafood. Good right now. I'm being serious. You gotta go. That's Check a, them out. I love seafood east, on the east side. Well, that's what I, I like Mexican good. seafood. Mexican seafood. Oh, well, that's on the well, ones. T- well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so tomorrow, if you're if you're gonna swing yeah. by, do a l- little there. lunch over there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so let's do this, yeah. man. So what happens if you don't get rid of those 500 enchiladas, man? Oh, I'm gonna get rid of it. You know what we're gonna do? What? We'll hit the neighborhoods. Oh yeah, bet that. No, Absolutely. but hell yeah. He'll, nah, dude. I know, know you will. There's no oh, reason. Oh, I know you will. But I'm saying, if we have any left over, shout out to like, DJ Escante, baby. Nah, they'll be gone. They'll I be gone probably saying. like an hour. I can, so yeah, you can just pull up and get them, or yeah, you pull up. Thing? Do they is the purchase necessary, or do they no, just pull up and no, say no. I'm just you here? You pull for up and that's it. First, first come, first serve. Hell yeah, I'll be there at eleven. Help. I'm I'm so excited about this. You gonna be there? Yeah, I'm gonna be there at eleven. I told him we're gonna chop it. I'll be there at eleven to help out, just pack out stuff and stuff like that. Whenever I can do that. Nice man. I'm so excited about it. If you can make it, go. (laughs) Eleven o'clock. You gotta work, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Eleven o'clock. Start at eleven thirty. I'm gonna be up in that thing, but it's gonna be good. You know, one of the things that I wanted to uh, share too with this whole live is that now that I see (laughs) bars are now, you know, getting their DJs involved. And everything like that. I saw that, huh? I did see that. So I, that I wanna give a suggestion to every single bar that is now getting their DJs involved uh, to do the live stream. Right. My suggestion would be create a GoFundMe account for your bar. Mm-hmm. Then you have your DJs that are set for those nights that are supposed to be those DJs. You have them set to where they go live from your business page, not their personal page. Yeah, that would help out. Okay. Cool. So let's just use this as, as an example. Uh, on the Rocks. So if On the Rocks is going to be live and having their DJs go live, go live from On the Rocks. Create the GoFundMe account so then your bar can be donated to give back to your bartenders or to your establishment. Yeah. Have the DJ put the cash app so he can make his tips, and you're supporting yourself, and it's going directly to your business because it's coming from the actual Facebook page of On The Rocks. <coughs> Makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's, that's cool. a suggestion for every single bar that I would, free, telling you free because. Yeah, that's not the first time a, we've done, yeah. done some gyms like that. I know. I know. Tell me about it. I Sandbox. Think- so Sandbox got the. They got their own GoFundMe for their them people. Cantina has it as well. But I like the suggestion with the DJs actually. No, it, I mean, that it, works it, out. It makes it yeah, makes a it lot makes of sense. sense. It makes a lot of sense because that like way. if you have these DJs going live from their personal pages, not all your followers from your actual your <coughs> customers, <coughs> not your customers know the, who they are. You know, so it, on, it just it just makes a uh, huh. Nothing. Go ahead. What'd you say? He has the coronavirus, and he just coughed all over his mic, and I am not tearing that one down after the show. Uh-huh. Allergies. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
Let's go. But anyways, yes, I, that's what I think. I think of the bars, if you have your DJs, go live from your business page. That's a dope idea. I like that. I like know. Hills and Dills has like their lineup and everything that they do every Sunday that people go see it. So go live from the Hills and Dills uh. page. The same lineup that you usually hey, have. Hey, man, I'm just, I'm trying, just, to just yeah. trying to help. Just trying to help. Just trying to help, man. That's a free game. It's not the first time help. helping them. It's yeah, not the first time You're just trying to show a little love. I know. Again. I'm trying to show love, man. That's, That's all. awesome, bro. Like, it's amazing. Man, people, people, people need to talk to you a little bit more. You know what I mean? Those businesses that need a little, like, uh, advertisement, promos, like, you're an awesome dude, bro. I appreciate that, man. Uh, they, maybe, you know, they keep watching our show, getting a lot of free game, you know, taking the ideas and running with it. Hopefully they master it. You know, and take advantage a, of it, and take a step further. No, like, no, man. Honestly, yeah, like, because when when I started watching it, I was just like, "This is what I would do if I had a bar." And I started really thinking about it. I was like, "What would I do if I had a bar?" And it just came to me, and then I was like, "Could I share that, or do, should I not share it?" And I was like, "Why not share it?" You know, Say, why not? Why Let not? It out. You know, you know it, someone was probably thinking it, but now you mastered yeah. how they're going to put it together now. So yeah. it works out. Got the Rona, that food, hand sanitizer, got like crazy. But I am Actually, good. I a lot of barbers cutting hair, man. My boy Edgar's cutting hair like crazy, yeah, brother. Yeah, Edgar, man, you you the man, dude. I need to get a haircut. My hair is getting long, man. I'm about to go bald over here. Forty dollars. About to go look like $40. Melvin right now. Go nah, bald. Bro, I'm not be bald, but like nah, clean, nah, 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 nah. cut. I'm like, how do you, you got you, you have hair. You gotta go. Uh, you gotta go see Johnny over Johnny? on my side. Yeah. Uh, Johnny. Johnny. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which, what's happening? Man, it's making happen. It's right there, like. Right there, right there. and uh, from churches. No, it's right next to the Platinum Fitness, the new shopping center. Oh, I know you're talking about. But it's in there. Oh, Johnny, Johnny's fire. I haven't been in there yet. Well, it's a brand new place. Well, yeah, just... I was like, cause the one down there's like four on the whole strip. Guys, if anyone's I'll watching, you. <laughs> if you know like a nail tech or something, let me know, cause I need to get my nails done. <laughs> so please let me know, guys. If I, I'll go to their crib and come to mine or whatever. A girl needs her nails done. They're gonna tax you. ASAP. Yo, shout out to a lot of people out there hustling, man, outside oh, the house, do. man. A lot of, there's a lot of girls hustling, make, doing like hair, hair doing lashes. Oh, it's crazy, man. A lot of girls doing lashes, hair. It's all over my Facebook, man. It's been crazy. Uh, shout out to Royal Slay, man. They keep posting like nonstop with them hustling, doing certain things. So, you're not trapping out the house. I don't know what to tell you, bro. How is everyone taking this uh, coronavirus? How are y'all doing? Share some comments so that we can read out loud. Um, and also, if you have a restaurant, if you have a food truck, if you have a bar, you serve food, whatever it is, drop down below, comment below your flyers. Let us talk about what's going on in our community so that we can share and continue to promote what people can do, you know? You need to go and break all the strange going back. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> shut, and, shut. No, no, so, so in the meantime, like, so please, Make sure to uh, drop down below uh, in the comments. Share some, uh, uh, share your thoughts. We're gonna take a break. Come right back into it and discuss a little bit more about the live DJ battle. Uh, that grand prize is up to a thousand dollars, thanks to everyone that's sitting here and also Adrian as well. Uh, so don't go anywhere, and we'll be right back with you guys. Here at Thomas J Henry, our sole focus, day in, day out. For every case, for every trial, is to help our clients to rebuild their lives, to put the pieces back together. Thomas J. Henry, here for you. 24-7, nights and weekends. Something we all need to know If you want to keep that healthy glow Remind your friends in courteous terms Let's spread the word and not the germs Wash your hands, it's the right thing to do It's easy when you only have two Wash your hands, keep them clean, oh yeah Hey, hey, wash your hands but if you find you're not feeling well like too many trips around the carousel call the doctor that's what you do the doc will take good care of you and you'll feel better too wash your hands and make your mother proud and maybe you can join the popular crowd 
was a day, oh yeah. Hey, hey, wash your hands. Wash your hands. All right, we are back right now. We were, well, not we, but they were uh, getting it lined up for some shots. Make Alrighty. it live. We. Over here, you got Mel Finest, Jose, Nat Boogie taking a Ooh. shot. Episode number 60. Cheers to that. Ooh, no, no, cheers to the community, man. Cheers Everyone to the community, too. Each other's backs. And this time. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. It kills the germs, right? They got the, um, oh, germs. the Freedom Coliseum is doing up 250 beds inside the, uh, for the people that have uh, uh, Corona. corona. And okay. then they're gonna do. Uh, they're gonna be doing like uh, two to three hotels as well. Volunteers. They're trying to get up to a thousand beds for people that do have it. So that's gonna be pretty crazy. And then uh, what else they got going on? They have some more stuff going on. And then the cop that has it. You know the cop that has it. It's just pretty crazy, man. Be out. Be careful out in these streets. Just be precautious. Honestly, Hell like yeah, bro. I'm gonna make sure you have sanitizer in the car. Uh, you know, keep your hands clean. Uh, just stay away from people. I went to HEB the other day and I actually wore a mask for the first time. It Did was, you? Uh, yeah, it was um, it was hard because I guess my face is little, so like hid <laughs> half of my face and I could barely see. But I mean, I don't know. I think as as fast as these numbers are growing, I just felt you know a need to take take more precautions and stuff. So I actually went to HEB in a mask. It was it's, weird. It's true. I think people in the need to really take it to a certain degree to where if you do not need to be out. Don't be out. You know, like today I wasn't out at all. Besides running, I just went running around my neighborhood, and that was it. Home all day, work, conference calls. Let me ask gym. you this, honestly, what's up with the gyms, man? No gym open, no nothing. nothing. No apartments. Now? Yeah, apartments. you gotta pay that rent, bro. You gotta pay that rent, boy. The apartment, no gym, oh, no, no, yeah, no nothing. No gym. Yeah. I better pay that rent. Don't, don't wait for that check. Testing. I need some at home workouts. Like for real, for real. A lot of people I haven't are... worked out in like two weeks, and I'm getting soft, and I don't like. <laughs> a lot of people going like crazy it. without the and gym. Yeah, they right are. Now. I had every single buddy hit me up, asking, excuse me, asking me if they could go into one of my gyms and. Hold on, how's that work out with the membership and stuff like that? How are you guys accommodating that? We're accommodating. Um, either if they want to cancel, they can cancel. We we don't we're not gold. We're not lifetime. We're not Planet Fitness. We're not. All these other big box gyms, and and, we, and nothing to discredit these big box gyms either. That's not my purpose. Right. But we don't make it a hassle to cancel. So if someone was on a 12 month agreement and they said, "Hey, I want to cancel my membership," we obviously in the beginning before they sign up, we let them know there is a cancellation fee. Right. So and they're normally they understand that. So when they do cancel, they pay the cancellation fee. And they're done. You what know? about their monthly like membership? Are but like, the monthly like membership freeze, uh, the... freeze on the accounts. On the accounts you know, okay. you know oh, that's free, good. The freeze on the accounts, or even uh, uh, people that are wanted to cancel, we just cancel them out. So yeah, we're we're there to help. We understand exactly what they're going through. Same thing what I did with my limos and party buses. Uh, I had over thousands of dollars right. that were collected between March to July for deposits, for weddings, prom, everything. And thousands of dollars that added up to their deposits. And I decided to write checks and refund them all back. That's dope. That's you awesome. And, and, and yes, it, it cuts, <laughs> it cuts uh, money out of my pocket, but you know what? I'm very blessed uh, to be able to, uh, to have money uh, to where I'm good, you know? Yep. So yeah. I don't... I've been broke twice in my adulthood to where it made me understand that money's not really that important to me. No. As long as I have a roof over my head, I know how to survive. Yeah, I got, so like it's, I said, it's, it's, I got more losses than wins, so you know, you learn from them, you learn from them to be better. Yeah, you know how you to do. adapt to situations. That's why I'm not tripping about all this stuff. I'm good. That's the way to see it. Like, oh, hey, if you take an L, like, learn from it. Hell yeah, man. I mean, keep it moving. Like I said, it's it's that positive energy. Exactly, man. You just take, you know, I turn the L's into lessons. That's how you do it, baby. It's a lesson. It's a lesson learned. And just keep Facts. moving forward, brother. That's how you do it. That's how you got to move around. 
And we got these gnats that are tearing me up, bro. No, bro, no, they're, 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 on they're, your they're, mind. they're everywhere, bro. Like, it's, it's crazy. I'm just like, what the, what the hell's going on? It's that drink, nah, man. It's, it's that drink. Hen- Hennessy, they want that Hennessy. <laughs> nah, it's that springtime, bro. Like, nah, it's every- springtime. Everywhere. Damn, you can't believe it. It's about to be April and no fiesta? I feel like we're not going to get a spring. No fiesta. No fiesta. No fiesta. No fiesta. No fiesta people. I wouldn't even go to fiesta though. That's to be honest with you, because like, no, like that strawberry, the huh? strawberry, I would. The stra- yeah. strawberry festival, the strawberry festival. No comment. Like, I like doing hood rat things with my hood nah, rat friends. Nah, I never. Friends. Seen. I know this girl <laughs> called me out earlier about the hood rat on my, hood my, rat. my my hot Cheetos. So he likes hot Cheetos with everything, guys. Like yeah. he made a tuna meat. sandwich with hot Cheetos. <laughs> he put hot Cheetos in his ramen. What else did you put hot Cheetos in? There was macaroni. something else you were telling me. Yeah, macaroni and, and hot Cheetos, the ramen and hot Cheetos, tuna, hot Cheetos. So he's the whitest Mexican you'll ever meet because he doesn't roll his R's, but he will eat hot Cheetos with everything. So I called him a hood rat. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Sorry. Hood rat. Low key hood rat. Low key hood rat. <laughs> hood rat. But it's okay. See, it's all good. It's all good. I, you know what? I, I, uh, I don't take away from like certain foods you know what i mean like fred's fish love it what you is know? it called fred's fish oh fried. The one. yeah right the one but i'm fried? just saying that yeah. like, it's like, i love it, got it you know do you put so. hot cheetos on top of your fish too <laughs> no no no. i just love the bread and the fried that's fish. the only thing he does it come yeah. on man Sorry, fred, I don't fish. Know. Yeah. Fred fish is everything good. else yeah fred everything else good. yeah, yeah. <laughs> cheerios oat milk right. yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> i just yeah. plain no no i i uh I like food that I guess some people would, I guess you want to put it into a category of whatever you want to put it into. The shit. Like me, like, like me, I grew up with the ramen. And, oh, and you grew up with hood rats. Like, yeah, hood rats all over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. No. no. You know what I was going to post on my, on my uh, page? I'll probably do it for this week on Thursday. I was going to post uh, the spread. I don't know if everybody knows what a spread is, but. Um, There's a couple different types of spread. What are you talking about? What, when it comes uh, to to mind, what do you think? What a spread is? I was totally not thinking food. No. Continue. Okay. You you know what a spread is? <laughs> yeah. You talking, talking about gambling? No. Spread. Yeah, that's the only spread I know. That's for early. That's I think food. Steven knows. Look, look, look. Food. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spread. Gamble, like, like when, you, when you've been in jail yeah. or or whatever, you you make a spread. You know, you got the ramen, you got the. Oh, that's like, it. Yeah. That's different. Oh, I never. It's been a in spread. Jail. It's called a spread. Yeah. See? You got those sorry ass jacks though to come your <laughs> way too. Those cold ass <laughs> fucking apple juice that's been locked hey, in the. Hey, hey, dude. I'm just saying. Like some people know, some people yeah. don't. But that's what I was gonna post, and I probably posted this week. Po po. Just post it. it. Post it. I know. Right? I do want to ask while we're talking about food because uh, I feel like now I get hungry all the time while I'm home and I have like a fully stocked I think I have more food at home now than I've ever had like the entire three years I've worked I've lived there um, but I want to ask everyone that's watching what's your favorite quarantine snack because I feel like everyone's eating all the time is there something you're what is your favorite snack to? I got no snack but shout out to everybody that's wearing the living room outfits though the living room outfits are lit man everybody's getting dressed up wearing the living room outfits for the parties and stuff like that Yo, get all dolled up they get dolled up just to go to the living room man it's lit it's what's, lit what's, what's really going on i'm just know? telling you <laughs> richie rich baby you already know but if you i had you make it <laughs> yes sir but if i had if i had a, if i had a, like a quarantine snack it'd probably be like uh some uh frito pie with nachos and the hot dogs. That's a snack? Hell yeah, it's a nice big ass <laughs> snack. <bro. laughs> it's a nice big ass snack. I'm about, snack. I'm about to smoke hookah and watch Netflix. Man, you <laughs> Shit, about to be a nice ass what's a, snack. What's a good snack for you? What do you like? Shit, that's a good question. I don't eat snacks, I eat meals. Sometimes. Ooh, big boy. What's your go to? Yeah. What are you cooking? Yeah. Cause I find myself cooking a lot more these days, and it's usually seafood. Watch, what up, baby? Well, when you have a restaurant, you don't have to cook. Um, so you just get and straight up, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But but I tell you what, like, I've been chef, getting make some, me my specialty. I've been getting some uh, meal preps. I'm, I've been trying to like eat a little bit better. Like honestly, if if I'm not gonna be going out drinking, not doing nothing, mm-hmm. like you know, I've just been focusing on the grind right. and trying to like, you know, put some time and effort in, in me. Right. So as far as like you know, getting my little workout, maybe you know here and there, but just eating right, you know, I. I What's your question? Shut the box. Is there any, any Producer Steven's asking a question. Oh, yeah. You have to say off the menu. Secret menu. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you know man. what? Yeah, you know man. what? What'd you make, man? A couple, a couple days ago, I posted a fajita plate with one enchilada, rice, and beans. 
and it's like, man, that one that, enchilada? That, yeah, with just beans, one, just with one. Fajitas? Yeah, fajitas. Actually, it's fire. Let me oh, get that it tomorrow. is fire. Let me get three though. So then I Edgar's was like, you know what? Everyone that was, was asking what me. I was doing last everyone week. was asking me, hey, what what is that called? I said, damn, I don't even know. I got to come up with the name because I had about like the Hoffman special. Twenty, nah. I got the El Hoffman Jefe plate. Got the Hoffman plate. So then, check this out. So. My boy Joey that I work out with, he's like, Joey! Hey, I got to go check out that, you know, that plate. So Joey, he comes Stacks, out. Joey, Joey Stacks. Joey Stacks. So he comes uh, out. Joey Stacks. So he this comes out. Brew. Check it out. Hey, bro. What's up, Let's bro? go. Let's go, bro. So, so check it out. So <laughs> he comes boy. out. <laughs> so, you know, he's a big boy. So oh, yeah. He's a big boy. I'm a, right. good so I right him, there, Joey. I gave him beef fajita. Talk, uh, beef fajita. Yeah. Two enchiladas, rice and beans. He had the, he had the, like, he had the bag with him. He's like, oh, that's a Stacks plate. That's what he named it. It's a stack plate. You should have it. Oh, shit. No, I think I am. Honestly. Stack plate, it yeah, sounds good. Well, it sounds there. good. I got my own plate tomorrow. But that's two enchiladas. <laughs> not one. Shit, stacks got me fucked up. I'm about to pull up tomorrow. I got my own plate too. Watch. Yeah, nah. Joey. Bless, Joey. That's my yeah. dog, though. Stacks is hella Joey, cool, Joey, man. Joey. Man, that's my I saw boy. Joey there, and then I saw uh, Watts there as well during the car wash. Oh, and Watts. Toy was there. Bro, I've been getting a lot of support from a lot of friends, and, and, and it's crazy because. How do you feel about this, that when friends like... Th- this is the time when you show love. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, you and, and, you and you support your local pr- uh, businesses. Mm-hmm. You support your local friends. Right. And, and it's like, man, I, 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 I just can't name everyone. Mm-hmm. But there's a few, like, you ju- what you call it. You know what I mean? Like, Stacks, Watts. Toy, Watts. Joey Stacks. Uh, toy. toy. Mm-hmm. Um, man, there's just so many to name. But honestly, like, this is a time when you show, like, if you... Appreciate someone. A little shout out. That's all you gotta do. Yep. You know, a little shout out. Hey, you know what? I'm, I support. I run with this dude. Like that's it. Yep. But, but you gotta. You know, a few haters here and there. That oh, they out there. They 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 think they're a little too smart. But I love the haters. Look, look, look at Johnny. Johnny I jumped on right now. See what's up with Johnny? Oh, hey, I see cuts I, I, here. Okay. Johnny, All right, Johnny. See, I, I see, see, I see, see? I see cuts. Out. Hey. Honestly, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny you a, said Johnny. Yep. Yeah, up. If you need a haircut, go visit my boy Johnny. Right he got place. you. Platinum Fitness. Icy cuts. Right next to uh, Plat- Platinum Fitness on okay. WW White Road. Yes, sir. Hey, fire. But like, like I said, man, honestly, like right now, if you care about someone or you care about a business or you care about a friend, mm-hmm. show them a little love. Like this is a time that you could show like, hey, I'm a true friend. Right. Because honestly, there's a few people that, hey. They might not want to show it and stuff. Yep. It's all good. You know what I mean? It, it goes around. It I keeps on going. I, I think there's certain people out there that that sometimes Trump get tricks. intimidated by other people's success to where they secretly like want to see other people fail. But they're so close to you in a way, in a sense, but not. Um, we'll keep your circle small. Oh, well, yeah. I, I tell you but, why, but, Mike. But, but I think, I think the, the thing, like me... If one of my best friends or friend said, hey, Mike Anthony, can you share this? Oh, by all means. I won't make a joke out of it. I won't do nothing like that. I just completely just share it. And I'll put it into a good caption, you know? Yeah, and I agree with you because why not? Homemade. You know, you ask me, I'm going to do the same thing yeah. too. Yeah. Homemade banana split with all different sides. Oh, shit. What kind of snacks do we have over here? Mm. A lot of Hot Cheetos, and pickles, now. and ricotta wings, 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 jalapeno poppers. And what type of wings though? What type of wings though? We just hot wings, no... man. You gotta get some hot uh, wings. Hell no, hot wings with the lemon pepper joint together. I don't like that lemon that pepper shit. stuff. Who mm. are you right with now? Some, yo, oh. I like some hot Cheetos. Like, with lemon pepper wings though. I like hot, like like hot Cheetos. Hold on, man. Hot, hot. So you know what? We can do this, <laughs> man. Right? Hot. You know, with some hot Cheetos on the side. You like you like hot wings? Hot wings, like real hot, like spicy hot. So you want to eat some wings on the show? The hottest wings. Hottest wings. What's up? We need some milk though. Hey, dog. No milk. Because <laughs> I'm gonna eat, it, eat cool it straight down. up. Now nah, you gotta eat it straight up. No milk. No milk. We can eat the hottest wings in San Antonio on the it? show. Let's go. Can I'm you take one. it? Yeah, let's go. The restaurant's right there. I can definitely go to shit. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm down for it though. Like we want it. We can do that. We, we used to eat food on the show. We used to. We have a lot of. But then so we started happened? realizing that. Oh, you didn't bring us any. That's what hey, talking about that. We were talking about food, right? <laughs> I know. Yeah, we were talking yeah, about food. Yeah, yeah. Look, so see, check this out. Boy, so check this out. Lemon pepper, see, Johnny know what's up. So, so, so check this out, man. Buffalo sauce, he said. So that no, I'm saying you gotta have the buffalo sauce with the lemon pepper wings because it makes it. Hot. Uh, bro, I'm gonna put you on. Man, so let me. So let me tell you something, Melvin. Honestly, look. So, she found out that I was coming on the show. Uh huh. Okay, it's like, oh, you coming on the show? 
Well, well, like, yeah. you're asked for, asked for food? I was like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> ask for food? Yep. I'm a restaurant uh, owner. Come on, ask for food, right? <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow. you know what I mean? Wow. wow. But, but let me tell you I'm something. Not, I'm I, w- I would have brought right. food. I would have brought food, but <laughs> I wasn't at the restaurant. Right. So don't get me wrong. Next time, next time, I, I wow, got y'all. Bro. He kept telling me about the seafood and everything. And then those fish tacos I had last time. Wow. Oh, they're fire, right? They were lit. So I was thinking about it. I was hungry and I didn't have time to eat. Oh, so yeah. I, oh, I, just, I already knew off of what you just said before you finished the sentence. I already knew. That's, she just told you she's been eating well, a lot lately. Nah, so I was I like, well, it. what about the food? Look, yeah, so lemon pepper, extra crispy with a side of hot sauce. Why the f- you want a side of hot sauce? Why not put it together? Nah, side Come on, y'all tripping. That Snack four horseman that burger. Like the four horsemen sweets. I like the sweets. Four horseman burger. There's a four horseman burger. So sweets burger? are getting me like right now for this. Uh, but I eat one sweet per day. You know what? I I've been having that craving so, too. So like I'll eat a Snickers bar. I'll eat a. Yo, I yeah. And I'm not. Y'all eat food like y'all eat every day. Out there, man. How many meals are you having a day? Who me? Yeah. I fast I've been, in the morning. I've been eating. Fast? Oh, you've been fasting? Yeah, I fast. Well, I mean, I, I'm just now that there's a term for it, but I don't eat until two o'clock. Uh, <laughs> but damn, fucking, it's called uh, fasting I've been, now. I've, so. been I've been eating. So. I've been eating a lot. Honestly. You say about five or six meals a day? At least. I eat three meals Ooh, a, a couple, day. Three meals? Three meals and two snacks. Now, are the three meals that you're eating are they heavy meals? Like no, they're portion. Oh. Yeah, you know, right, right, or white rice and, okay. and chicken and beef or. Uh, asparagus, uh, salads, uh, with chicken, uh, protein shakes, okay. um, and then snacks, yogurt, and the, uh, what are they called? The granola? Uh, the granola um, bars? Yeah. Okay. Crunch in there. Nah, Bananas. Yeah, man. I, so, nah, I be eating like seven meals a day. I don't know what the fuck's going on. See? Sometimes it's like, sometimes like, I'm like, bro. Like, oh, oh, oatmeal. I, been, I love oatmeal. So I can eat oh, oatmeal. Oh, okay. Day. Oatmeal. What type of oatmeal? Though? Like just regular, maple, just or? regular oatmeal. I'm a plain, basic oh, type tell. of guy when it comes to food. But basic, he, but, period. Hey, but, but, like, but, I but, the, but, I have the same. But, the same. everything with hot Cheetos, though. Yeah, hot basic. Cheetos. I'm basic with hot Cheetos, though. Hot Cheetos are hot sauce. Right? Basic with hot got, Cheetos, basic though. Basic with hot Cheetos, though. Get them spices nah, on, boy. I've been doing, man, like, I, nah, I've been eating, like I said, I've been eating, like, six or seven meals. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but, like, I've been eating, like, crazy. I ate some pizza last night. How many pizzas? Bro, when you put spices... I ate two <laughs> large pizzas yesterday. That's Yo, crazy. when he two posted large. that, bro, I was like, when I seen like six pizzas, I was like, bro, you shouldn't lie to me. Like, honestly. six pizzas? Yeah, we had like six boxes of pizza. Oh, oh my shit. god! That and he posted that. a picture of it, Little Caesars. Hey, oh, honestly, yeah. hey, Caesar's hey for the money, hey, wow. <laughs> for the money. Not bad. Not bad Excuse at all. me, sorry. The uh, Little Caesars. I will say this: y'all messed up my pizza, man. Yeah, I really did. Did I you was, call them? I know I didn't, but I'm, I'm big on that shit. If man, I pay money for my food, like, like, fucked it up. It I'm gonna was, pie. it was, it, <laughs> I it am. was like I'm serious about that shit. You know how when you get a slice, you you expect like the whole slice to come with it. Does. Like half of it it's came up. So, so yeah, it was just. But I love pizza. Mm-hmm. So fresh jalapenos. Oh fuck! Wait, no. wait, so did you have six pizzas just you? No. no so, <laughs> hey, so um, <laughs> hey man, what type of um? So I want to ask people, what type of games are y'all playing at the house, man? Because yeah, we had game night like, too. I was playing last Uno night. shots last night, man. Uno, I was Uno playing shots. Uno, 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 Uno shots. Uno. So check it out, man. And you didn't even invite? No, nah, check so, it out, check it out. I was playing the second round because I was smoking hookah. My boy Brian came over with his girl, my roommate. They were right, Ruben. So they went We're into. Not supposed to be having so many people. Um, well, know. that's actually four people all together, so I'm pretty I've good. Been within the legal yeah, limit. so I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I had people over last night, yeah. so I've been within the legal <laughs> limit. <laughs> all right, back. so yeah, so we're playing Uno, so we're playing Uno, right? So on the wild cards, you get to write. So together. we're playing. See? So if you take five shots, you have to do 50 push ups or jumping jacks. So left, right, center. Yeah. So there was crazy ass shit going crazy. on last night, man. Uno so you got, so you got, you got some push ups up? No, I didn't play. No, I take this, yo. <laughs> yesterday <laughs> was lit. Yesterday was lit, yeah. I was like, wow, this is crazy. Uno shots. Uno Can you do fifty shots? Uh, fifty shots. Can you do fifty push ups? <laughs> fuck no, that fuck that shit. Like I was hell no. I was like, yo, y'all tripping. So that every like wild card, everybody takes a shot. Can and you everybody do fifty push ups? Do it. <laughs> yeah, yo, that nigga, I, yo, I mean, you up, boy, but man, live. You can do 50 right now? I can On do the spot? Yeah. On the spot? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, give me that look. After a couple Bro, shots yeah. of a drink. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'll do them at home and I'll, I'll send it, I'll send yeah, it to IG. All right. 
But, but now, I do want to give a shout out to Vision really quick. Um, Saturday, Joshua and I had to get out the crib and we went to go um, show some love to Vision. He lives downtown right off like the river walk and it was crazy to see how empty downtown was. But we were playing Uno. So that was fun. So we played Uno and then he had a he had a Facebook live. Um, so we went to go watch him perform. Last night we were playing left, right, center because Ann just pulled it up, uh, just mentioned it yeah. right now. Um, if you don't know that game, go buy it. It's a dope ass dice game. You can either play it with money or play it with the chips that it comes with, but that shit is fun as fuck. So if you don't know that game, if you have a birthday coming up, guys, because I know Team Aries, our birthdays got fucked this year, so that's a great fucking game for your party. That's what I played for my birthday. So I think it's left, right, center, or left, center, some shit like that. Just go buy it. Something like that, yeah. So Something what do you like do? That. Did you uh, postpone your birthday? Um, well, I had a get together at the crib. Um, but I'm gonna postpone actually celebrating it the way I really want to for probably my half birthday, which is September 21st. Or yeah, to celebrate it next year. But I always, I always, <laughs> I always give myself a shout out on my half birthday, and people think I'm talking sh- like they think I'm stupid. But <laughs> what's your half birthday? September 21st. Wait, why is that half? Because I turned 32 and a half. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shout out to Victor Cruz, the football player, because I actually got a video from him telling me happy half birthday on my half birthday a few years ago. So, hey, hey shout out, know, shout out to, boy, shout out to everyone that's on here. Yeah, you know what I mean, watching us, we love yeah. y'all. Mm-hmm. Appreciate y'all, you know, joining us. And this is a great show, honestly. Y'all gotta like check this out more often, honestly. Mike, mm-hmm. you're doing a badass job, bro. <laughs> Thank and the whole team you. and the whole team calm down I, mean. I said thank you for being and the here. whole team the whole team <laughs> <laughs> no you know what it, it's great to hear from you and other people and and our viewers to continue to show us the support um you know what's so crazy at this time is that steven give a shout out to steven our producer steven. he actually had the idea of making a gofundme account or, or a donation account right steven say something like uh, if you can you hear me, Stephen? Yeah. Yeah. So he wanted to make a donation link so that people can donate to the show for us to keep on having it. Because it costs, it. it costs money, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it started now seeing the Cash app and, and and seeing the GoFundMe account is making me feel that maybe we'll do something like that too to where they can... And there'll be perks with it, you know? $3 shout out to this, $5 this. Nothing too expensive, but... Something like that to where we we've invested in so much equipment to where everyone's doing. Um, it, right? I know. Sometimes we don't have sponsors. Sometimes we do. Huh? So everyone's make, doing the cash yeah. app and the what is that shit called? The other thing like GoFundMe account huh? and stuff like Venmo that. Venmo and then you Venmo. got the uh, yeah. Zelle and then you got Richie Rich. That's in the, that was in the beginning, but we're, yeah, we we're, talked about it earlier. But we'll we'll talk about it again. again. Um, really quick though, I wanted to give a shout out because I know we've been shouting out like, you know, HEB, all the, everyone that works at a grocery store, everyone in the medical field, but I want to shout out to the teachers right now. Yes, teachers. Because teachers. Yes. school has been out, but what they had to do is kind of just like figure out a way to get the whole curriculum and everything like on online. Mm-hmm. So wow. these kids could still kind of try to, you know. I didn't even know none of that. Yeah, yep. yeah. So a lot, of, a lot of, and shout out to the parents that are having to homeschool their kids right now. And that parents are really right. realizing like, how important teachers yeah, are. Yeah, parents are really, really, really realizing how important teachers are right now and the struggles, the everyday struggles that they go through trying to teach the kids because sometimes they be bad as fuck in schools. Um, but no, so I wanted to shout out to the teachers and to all the parents homeschooling right now because I know it's a struggle for everybody, but I don't think they get as much recognition because I'm always seeing, you know, the grocery workers and you know the medical field and everything like that so shout out to the teachers out there we appreciate you and the cleaning crews the cleaning yes. businesses out there i think if you have a cleaning business this is a great opportunity to you know approach and and make sure that you can help out different businesses uh commercial uh residential uh this is a the time for cleaning uh, services to be really useful because that's the whole goal is to stay clean and shout out to them too as well because they're i've seen a lot of people a lot of my friends that have uh, cleaning businesses are out there cleaning and doing what they have to do like disinfecting yeah there. you know but the teachers again just to piggyback off the mm-hmm. teachers it's just mm-hmm. crazy because one of my friends she posted on her on her facebook i think it was the elementary school all the teachers decided to go drive in the neighborhood and oh, wave no wave at the students and they had like they decorated their their cars that is when you know teachers have love for what mm-hmm. they do you know because they don't go in it for the money 
you know, we know that. We know teachers don't get paid as much as they should. Mm-hmm. You know, I think teachers are underpaid in my sense. But for them to go out there to the neighborhoods and all together just do that, it was so amazing. So I don't know exactly what uh, which a, uh, school did it, uh, but if you do, comment below. That was a really great thing to show to the kids, mm-hmm. you know. I thought that was really dope. Um, and then also how the schools are still providing those meals for the kids right now while they're out, you know, they're out of school, but they're actually still doing, like, the drive-up stuff where they're the kids can go pick up a meal and everything like that for the day. So I think that's dope that they're doing that as well. Shout out to Esme. What's up, girl? What's going on, Esme? We'll be seeing you do your thing. We was talking about you and Mystic's lives over the weekend. Yeah, that was cool. It's working and lap dances and all that good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she said, hey, y'all. <laughs> Hey, That's so what's point. up with the car business, huh? Y'all like that 0% interest or what? That is I true. Seen, yeah, you I want to see some feedback. Huh? Are you doing that? No, I'm not doing that, but, you know. The how, new, does that, new, the how, new, how does that work? How, so 0%, 0% for 84 months APR. So just enlighten like, people if maybe they have questions on it. Like, How does that really work? So I tell you Does what, it's a, it it's a great opportunity to buy a vehicle today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, when I say today, I mean like at this time period. Uh, new car stores are offering that zero percent interest, so that applies to, you know, depending how your credit is. So if you have A one credit right. about seven twenty, seven thirty or above, you get zero percent, eighty four months. You can't beat that deal, you know. Even deal. though I I could lie to y'all, you know, I'm in the mm-hmm. car industry, so, but it's a great deal. You have a great credit, take advantage. Go buy a new car. Zero percent interest, eighty-four months. Like you can't beat it. But Hoffman Motors, I tell you what, we're doing everything wholesale price. Like I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm letting go of vehicles just to bless people because, you know, um, we're all in need right now. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? And if I could bless someone, why not? Let's do it. I do have uh, in-house financing. I do have outside financing. Hoffman and I'll give Motors. You, and I'll give you the best interest rate that I can. Okay. Hoffman Motors. My number is 210-920-7000. We're, at, we're off of uh, 5014 Rigsby mm-hmm. Avenue, San Antonio, Texas. Um, and I got all types of vehicles. Uh, don't think I have very uh, so many luxury vehicles. I have even cash cars right now. You know, I, I got a lot of vehicles as a trade-in. I just want to bless someone. So if you're looking for a $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 car, come, come visit me. I got sure. you. That's now, good. if you want to yeah. be a big baller and, you know, 30, 40 racks, whatever, mm-hmm. I got you too. I got you. You know? There you go. That's so the way to come do visit it. me. If you're looking for a vehicle, come see me. So, so it's good in, during this time frame to buy a car then, right? Oh, yes. So is there any <clears throat> hidden agendas before that zero percent for 84 months no or? there isn't honestly like if you see the windows if you see the ticket is it for 80 months or is it for 80, 84 months or is it for a short and then you just have to sign the 84 months so basically you you sign for 84 months so you're gonna be you're gonna have a monthly payment for 84 months but the thing is you got zero interest and also they're doing a deferred payment for 90 days mm-hmm. so 90 days it means like you don't have a payment for 90 days. Exactly, brother. And zero interest, so it doesn't matter if you your first first payment you is in 90 have to have days. Good credit in. Yeah. So you make your monthly payment, it's it's crazy. Like right now it's the time of opportunity. Mm-hmm. So don't sleep on it. Don't just take take up the opportunity to buy a vehicle, or buy a house, even mm-hmm. buying a house. Like shout out to Scott Maloof, like he's doing his thing. Um my, Michael Lugo, like, there's a lot of uh, real estate people that That's my will ninja get you. right there. That's my ninja, Michael there's Lugo. A lo- there's a lot of people that will look out for you and yeah. and take advantage of the low interest rates. Because yeah. I am. Yeah. I'm a business owner, and guess what? I'm going to uh, I'm gonna take advantage of it. Like, open of opportunity. Shut up, Scott Maloof, man. And it goes also for the business owners. There's SBA loans. Um, yeah, they're saying that it's 0%. No, you ain't going to see no 0% in commercial. But if you're a successful business and you got your numbers and your books and everything in, in order, you're going to have a SBA loans for you. 
-hmm. So right now is open opportunity. Take advantage of it. And if you have any questions, feel free. Call me, 210-296-5678. I'm a person that I like to help. That's good. That's good stuff right there. Good information for the car business stuff like that. I have a shout out to AP really quick because I got my car in 2016 with 0% interest and that was live. Thank you. So yeah, guys, take advantage of that. Where'd you get your car at? Interest. Melvin? North Star Dodge. North my boy Chucky. I'm trying yeah, to yeah, right now, everything's going, everything's going right now. Like, dang. I got, my, get... I got my car at uh, CarMax, actually. Yeah. CarMax? Yeah, yeah last North year. North Star Dodge. It's been, it's, been one, it's been one year already. Yeah. Right, yeah. right next to uh, North Star Mall. Yeah. What? They actually gave me a good deal, too. CarMax like, usually taxes people. No, it was really? it wasn't that bad at all. Surprise. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, really quick, I wanted to because I had uh, done a post yesterday about local businesses yes. and restaurants. So I just wanted to give a shout out really quick. Um, let me see here. Of course, we already talked about Don Adolfo's. Um, Taryn with the uh, old luxury is now the yep, new elsewhere garden. garden. That it, place looks dope too. It does look. I want to go check that out when I'm able to actually like go chill and drink and stuff like that. Um, I know uh, Winchester as well has some special going on. Um, so Monday, oh, that was today actually. Um, Wednesday, they have steak night. It's twenty dollars, and you get like a whole meal and stuff like that. And then Friday, they're gonna have some spe- oh salmon and bourbon veggies. That sounds amazing, and fish tacos. Nice. So, anyways, um, shout out to all the all the restaurants that are doing some stuff. Shout out to Groove House. I know they have some specials going on every day. Um, I haven't been to Groove House in, since they first opened. You've been to Groove House? Mm-hmm. We went. Yeah. I used to go because it's like I'm right down the street. The from the, house. the owner's name Adrian. Adrian Martinez. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's co- he's good people. He's a DJ too. Is he a DJ? Yeah, he's the DJ too. He's the DJ there. So, um, shout out to Adrian and to Michelle. I told them I'd shout them out. So I wanted to show some love. So shout out to I mean all the local businesses, all the local restaurants, everyone that's you know having their specials and everything like that. Guys, please feel free to post them on the comments or just tag us in them so we can. Um, give you a shout out, share share your 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 post. Um, you know, talk about it on the next show, everything like that. Shout out to the local DJs doing your thing, giving us some entertainment. I will say half of my weekend I spent watching local DJs, and I like how they're actually having like lineups. Like they'll be posting. Have you seen the flyers where they're posting and they'll have like like the Hills and Dales crew, and stuff like that, or like the mm-hmm. you know on the Rocks crew, Justin's crew. They have like a whole lineup like the entire day, mm-hmm. and there was a another crew that did it. So shout out to all the DJs out there. Just everyone coming together to um, try to help everyone in need right now because it's like a it's a fucked up situation <laughs> that we're all in right now but I think this is the time for the community to come together like we've been talking about everyone helping each other so it is uh, go back to uh, Taryn uh, again his new spot uh, temporary menu is ten dollars for bacon cheeseburgers uh, buffalo chicken sandwiches chicken parmesan sandwiches oh spicy meatloaf sandwiches uh, also wine and beer to go uh, so if you haven't been there, the physical address is 103 East Jones Avenue, Elsewhere Garden. The phone number is 210-446-9303. Again, that's Taryn. Uh, I saw a picture of that chicken gonna, parmesan sandwich the other day. Going to be going out there amazing. this week. Yeah, It looks so good. I'm going to go out there this weekend and show some love. If you have a restaurant or, or a bar, you have food, I'm going to try my best this week just to order from you guys and show some love uh again and to again talking about the djs we do have a live dj battle it is 16 djs that already has signed up it's absolutely free to join the purpose is to uh just encourage you djs and i know some of you uh, do rely on the income uh based on playing at venues and now that you don't have that income you may be uh having a difficult time um but this is the reason why we did this it was because of the fact that i was inspired by watching certain djs going live i've already wanted to do a dj battle uh before the this whole thing has happened i've talked to this with the whole crew here and now that we have this it's just incredible to see us as a team uh, with the support with uh, jose and adrian uh, come together to raise enough money uh, to a thousand dollars for a grand prize to be entertaining and again we have those djs already if i can get another 16 djs that want to participate let's continue this we have a whole month of april uh, the vision for the finals is going to be really dope because we'll actually do a live stream broadcast with it 
So talking about bringing in the two DJs that will be in the finals, and it will be uh, our episode, during our episode that we'll have it uh, done. And so the vision is just getting bigger and better. And Mel Finest, Jose, Nat Boogie, myself, Adrian, $1,000 people just to do what you do, what you love. Nope. That's not a bad deal. It's nope. not. So if you're a DJ and you're already going live, just hit me up. 210-677-5289. And just show some love. And then uh, Michael right now is going, uh, shout out to Michael, my ninja. He just put his uh, his uh, uh, email on there. Go ahead and uh, give him a shout. He does an incredible job, the Lugo Group. Um, they're good people, man. I've known him for like years. Yeah, I, I met him a few years ago, and man, he's awesome. And also Scott Maloof, he got on there, man. Like, yeah. Scott Maloof, yes. Good dude, too. So, you know, pick or choose. You got two... Strong real estate people right uh, there. Yeah, Scott Williams, my dog. Scott's doing some big things. Uh, I'm gonna get on his ass later on. But yeah, it's my dog. Oh, I'm gonna get on him too. Yeah, that, that motherfucker. I ass. still love him though. I though. still love him though. He's paying my ass, but he ain't shit. <laughs> you know, I like my, my Scott. That's my dog. Hey, I can, look, right I, now, it's my least. I can say you this when when I call Scott, mind. Scott's answer his phone. So oh, I appreciate yeah, that. All day, I appreciate that. You know, because some people are so busy to where. Nah. You know, I get busy and, and and to where people people answer. will be like, you know, you're in a meeting or whatever, but it's cool to know that there's certain people that will just answer the phone yeah. or call back if they couldn't right then and there. That's a good thing. Um, really quick, I just wanted to shout out because Adrian, um, if you know we're at Smoke, he actually does his uh, pop-up shop or pop-up market thing that he's doing. So if you need some supplies, some food, it's actually all sitting right here. Um, he has alcohol. He has Food, he has cleaning materials, cleaning supplies, toilet paper, paper towels, and all that stuff. So make sure, you know, if you need some of that stuff that you can't find at the grocery store, come through to smoke and get it. Um, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. 11 a.m. to 8 p.m.? Uh -huh. Okay, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Beautiful, beautiful smoke. establishment. Oh. It's, it's gorgeous in here. Honestly, smoke, when, pop, pop up honestly, market. Honestly, yep. once the coronavirus is over, like, y'all got to come and visit him. Honestly, it's beautiful. We're going to hit Ash for sure. Yeah. I'm going to need drinks. But they are offering a daily specials at $8. If you need to order online, go to smokedowntown.com. Again, smokedowntown.com. Or if you want to make your orders by phone, make sure to call 210-253-9919. Again, 210-253-9919. Again, that's the uh, Smoke Pop-Up Market, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Also, daily special at $8. That's not bad. And, and he's doing an incredible job, again, by going out to the community and mm -hmm. giving out food and doing what he can do and the pop-up market. That's great. I think all the restaurants that are, that are doing that, uh, having all their food lined up, I think, what was it, uh, Mintiera? Mm -hmm. They're doing it. Right La, uh, La, La Gloria was doing it. Um, there's so many restaurants that are doing it. Even uh, Animal Biscuit Company, they were uh, uh, serving, uh, selling a milk and eggs and stuff like that and it's just great to see people trying to help and giving another option for those that are looking for those types of foods you know very very dope um, so i got i got a little i don't mean to touch off but so i got, I got a little announcement to, to do mm -hmm. so um hopefully in a few weeks i'm gonna start doing some meal preps so hoffman's steakhouse is going to be serving meal preps my guy. Yeah, you know I mean, so, so the fitness industry people that are looking to stay fit, you gotta check out Jose's. You restaurant. put in your order Friday or Saturday, and we'll deliver uh, by Sunday. Oh, that's Is good. There be For like the week, pescatarian, vegetarian, vegan options. I haven't came out with the exact like menu, okay. but everyone that's came to my steakhouse, I, I put some fire food out. Well, so so come visit me. Uh, hopefully in a few weeks, probably like in two weeks, I'm gonna throw that out. But I'm just giving you that little announcement, you know. Gotta what put I mean? it out there. Put hey, all my fitness, big people and little people and whoever wants to get in shape, <laughs> medium-sized people, you know. <laughs> and hey, give me a call two one zero two nine six five six seven eight. Meal preps yep. by Hoffman's. There you go. Get in where you fit in. You already know what it is. Again. Oh, what about ahead. what? I wasn't saying about social media, but go ahead. Oh, no, no. no I was going to say again, uh, for those that are tuning in, thanks for watching. If you're a DJ, you're interested in joining the contest, please inbox message my personal or uh, the business pages. 
or call or, or text directly. Uh, I just wanted to say again, thanks for everyone that tunes in every Monday night because this is episode number 60 and we're continuously trying to bring entertainment, uh, show different promotions, different uh, aspects in the San Antonio area when it comes to the bar industry, the nightclubs, the lounges, the restaurants, uh, local events. Uh, don't, uh, at this moment, panic. Uh, I encourage you to take this time to learn about yourself, be close with your close friends Stop and family, sure. and continue to support the local community. And if you need help at this moment, free of charge, we're not gonna charge anybody for advertising or promoting because we know how it's how it's affecting everybody. So again, that's why Nat Boogie, Mel Finest, on their pages, they ask you to share and drop flyers. We encourage you, we don't say it just to say it. We really want to be able to be an outlet for you guys to be able to reach thousands of people within one hour. We do awesome. have people that sponsor the show that pay for this. And this is why I'm sharing this right now in April. We're not, I don't want to, to charge anyone. I want this to be absolutely 100% free because we know it's the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. So if you have a flyer, if you have a promotional video, mm -hmm. you have something that to promote your business, drop it below, inbox our late nights with all access. We will give it to our producer. He will put it in between the breaks. We will make sure that it's uploaded into the page. Again, this is just to help. This is absolutely 100% just to help you guys, man. Uh, we want to see the positivity. We want to grow together. Uh, we're here for everyone. And that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, not, that only that, but not only that, but we're not asking for nothing like nothing back. You know, oh, yeah. people ask for people, so, oh, I did this for you. So we're not asking for that. Oh, yeah. It's pretty much sharing and just showing love to people in general. And uh, that's why I always ask on my Facebook, just tag me, tag me, tag me, because I'll share it. I've been sharing like DJs that I don't even know. Like the no, only thing I'll I stop. would ask, the only thing I would ask is just share our live stream to your friends. That's exactly. it. That's the only thing I would ask. Is share for a share. Just share for a share. You know, just exactly share. Share for a invite share. Invite your friends. Uh, let's take it to another. Now that you said that, we all have about combined here maybe fifteen thousand friends on Facebook. To where if mm -hmm. we go to a page, we can click community, we could click invite all friends and yep. invite 15,000 easily yep. to like your page, your business page. Yep. So yep. if you don't mind doing that for us, for our page here, we'll do it for your page. And you may only have 1,000 to 5,000 friends and that's it. We're having 15,000 together. Oh. So you do the math. That's not a bad deal. So nope. I don't mind doing some stuff like that just just to keep Same. everything going you know because obviously we want the numbers to increase and we appreciate the love that we do get yeah that's why i said share for a share social medias social Austin, media you can go first where they can follow you you put me on the spot <laughs> I mean, you don't have to leave social media if you don't want to. No, 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 I'm not. I, 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 I keep not thinking about it. Like, what I mean? Hey, look, look. Okay, if you want to, y'all. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My oh, social, I'm going my, last. I have to go my, last. So my matter. social media is personal for Instagram, uh, official MikeAnthony.Torres. Uh, business is All Access MA for Facebook and Instagram. Malfinus. Yeah, it's called a. Uh, I finished my drink before Hoffman. Uh, sorry, ass. They didn't finish his shit. Talking shit. All right. So, Mel Finest on Instagram. Bless and more on Instagram. Melvin Johnson on Facebook. Come on, Hoffman. Let's go. Jose Hoffman. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. And let's, I, go. I, let's go. And Facebook. I don't know what, 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 good, how you good. search it up. But, but if we want to talk about your restaurant. The, they have yeah. So, everything. Hoffman Steakhouse. El Tipico Mexican Restaurant and Hoffman Motors. Tomorrow, please come out, support me. I, I know it's gonna be packed, but first 500 people to show up, I'm gonna bless them with the plate. And God's blessed me, so why not? You know what I mean? So come out, support me. Um, also, 99 cents tacos every morning from 6 mm -hmm. to 11. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that Homemade. next show. <laughs> hey, the fajitas are on point too, boy. Margaritas. Margaritas, small margaritas, 16 ounce, four dollars. Large margaritas, eight dollars. <laughs> if you want the best margaritas, come visit me. Right. 4930 Rigsby, San Antonio, Texas. 
I'm going to be control. there tomorrow. What I time? am. I'll be there tomorrow. I don't know what time. i got to check my schedule. But I'll be there tomorrow. But I'm going to reply to Jack. I, I, I don't know what an OnlyFans is, <laughs> but we're going to talk <laughs> about that <laughs> next fans. show. OnlyFans. <laughs> we're going to talk about I, OnlyFans. Because you know, I, I, I haven't. Yeah, I won't miss that. No, no. The funny thing is, by like, every I have day, it. there's like a new person doing only, OnlyFans. Yeah, like, I, I don't. I don't know when it's like ten. I've seen, I've seen 20, people now. I've people, seen bro. I've seen a lot of people join. I didn't know what it was. I actually now know what it is. But it's that's funny, funny Jack. Me, I don't have one, so I wouldn't need one. So I, I'm laughing. People Anyways, hey, but we're gonna. We're, money, yeah, we're, 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 we, yeah, we're yeah. You only live once, so we will talk about that next next Monday. Yep. Yep. Um, really quick, I just wanted to give a shout out to Jay. He did ask me to go ahead and mention his car lot. Running Jewels Auto Sales. He did say, if you go to his car lot and you buy a car right now, since we we're talking about car sales, if you mention us, if you mention that you heard this on Late Nights with Alexis, you will actually get three free oil changes if you buy a car. So shout out oh, to yeah, Jay. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yes. Yeah. So he did comment on the post. So I yes. just wanted to give him oil a shout out as well. Once again, it's Running Jewels Auto Sales. Um, so make sure you mention us. Get that car. Get those oil changes. Um, I am Natalie Charlene on Facebook. Now Boogie No E on Snapchat, Twitter. Instagram, all that good shit. And uh, thank you guys again. Thank you so much for tuning in. We definitely appreciate you. Episode 60. 60. For us to make it to episode 60, we would not be able to do it without you guys. So thank you so much for everyone that tunes in, that continues to share, interact, all that good stuff. We definitely appreciate you. Of course, it's Late Nights with All Access with Mike Anthony, my finest, myself. And we will see y'all next Monday, guys. Y'all have a good night. Please, y'all be safe out there and uh, use those precautions. Peace.